Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel, Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. We're gonna be doing this 2017 Jeep Patriot today for a remote start. These are, the, these are the parts we're going to be using today, an NU1204, which is the four button new start, CDK1T harness, and inside of this, you're going to have our blade AL that we slid into here already and we programmed it, so CM900. So this is everything we're going to be using today on this 2017 Jeep Patriot to be able to do the remote start. So here is the dash of the Jeep Patriot. What we want to do is we want to remove this, which there's two screws underneath here. We want to take those out. And then up here is what we're trying to get to is the key cylinder because we've got to get to that key cylinder to be able to get the t-harness plugged in and if you look underneath here there's a torx right there so basically we're going to take this piece off first and then we're going to take the bottom of the shroud off next here's what this piece looks like removed just basically has two screws on the bottom two clips on the top we've pulled that piece out so here's what we have behind that here and we're gonna take these out you got screws in here we're gonna take that out so we can get underneath here and then we're gonna get here you may not even have to take this out just to be honest it's just gonna make it easier to get up to this harness but we're gonna take this bottom shroud out I'm gonna leave it in but if it becomes a problem I'm gonna take it out but we're gonna take this out so we can get this bottom shroud out because all we have to do is literally plug in a T harness so we're not having to wire anything and this screw in here is a t20 by the way so we're gonna go ahead we took that out we're gonna go ahead and take this bottom shroud out you're also going to have to take out, there's two of these on each side here and over here. Oh, sorry. Here. T20s. You're going to have to take those out. It's just like the Jeep Wrangler. So you have two on each side or one on each side, basically two total. T20, take those out. So I'm going to revise that last part. These are not T20s. These are actual Phillips. They are not like the Jeep Wranglers. Jeep Wranglers uses a T20. This uses a Phillips, but you have to use something with the, like this. You can't use anything that has a larger shaft than this. It won't fill up in the hole. Here's this piece removed, and then now we can get exactly where we need to go to the ignition cylinder. I believe it's this plug right here, but I'll, I'll make sure on that when we pull the T-harness out. So here's our T-harness right here. So we're going to plug that in right there. We're going to unplug this and then plug our T-harness in to make that all work. So we've plugged in our new T-harness here, plugged in our other harness here, rub, run this basically harness down through here, got it come down. Then when we come to this harness, we're gonna plug in these two plugs right here to our CM900 brain. Here it is plugged in. We're gonna go ahead, we've already uh, programmed this module to the vehicle, so we're gonna go ahead and start doing the programming instructions so it's already preloaded from our computer with the vehicle information. Now we're going to load this into the actual vehicle. So we're going to do our programming instructions. So 
so we have everything zip tied up we're going to zip tie this underneath the dash everything's programmed everything's working correctly we'll show you as soon as we get out of the vehicle but um, pretty easy to do to program to the vehicle and we'll put those instructions in here as well 2017 Jeep Patriot remote start by new start also does keyless entry with lock and unlock these are actually the new extended range remotes with almost a half mile range. 